The drones are coming. The drones are coming. Hey everyone, my name is Sean and welcome to Geeksvana. To get the latest drone and tech content, subscribe now. In today's video, we are taking a look at a drone described as a bug which can fly in 50 mile per hour winds. Being developed for the British Army as part of a sci-fi style kit, recent tests were displayed on Salisbury Plain. This is another step taken by the UK towards a technology-focused defence system. Shown here from Daily Mail footage, the drone, which will have swarm capabilities, will be launched from UK Army Challenger 2 tanks or Warrior Armoured vehicles. The drone named The Bug can track moving vehicles, fly at 50 miles per hour and has an explosive payload. This will work in combination with a robotic ground vehicle, the X-3. This will confront enemy troops ahead of soldiers. The X-3 also boasts specs of 12 miles per hour speed, 1.2 mile range and the strength to move roadblocks of up to 3 tonnes. We're seeing a significant move from armed forces across the globe towards AI and unmanned technologies. Certainly, we'll be looking at a very different battlefield of the future very soon. The use of autonomous aircraft and vehicles could well support the troops on the ground, but it will bring with it a new set of challenges. Of course, for every new piece of military tech developed like this, there is someone somewhere developing the kit to counter the use of it. It will also be interesting to hear feedback from those in the field as to how much situational awareness and advantage this type of device will bring over the use of more traditional tactics. Speaking at the test event, Defence Secretary Ben Wallace said yesterday that new armed forces equipment needs to be threat driven and better aligned to the UK's future needs. Commenting, we are in a very real race with our adversaries for technological advantage. The drone was part of the UK Army demonstration of the latest unmanned autonomous vehicles, drones and geolocation systems, which using the new Android Team Awareness Kit or ATAC makes everything work together, including tracking the robotic tech and drones in relation to troop positions. A mobile phone style device sits on the chest of the soldier, allowing them to gain a live feed from the drones and robots to act as extendable eyes. This comes as drones are becoming more of a priority in UK defence. The Royal Navy have been using their new aircraft carrier, the HMS Prince of Wales, as a test bed for drone deployment. Earlier this year, the Navy showcased some of the craft being tested and developed from the deck of the UK's latest aircraft carrier. In fact, since these tests were carried out earlier this year, the HMS Prince of Wales has become home to many emerging drone programmes, which includes the Puma, which sits at 10,000 feet, too high to be seen or heard, but can then be back footage detailed enough to make out a soldier's rifle on the ground. One other exciting project from the official partner of the UK Armed Forces, Leonardo, is a swarm drone which is capable of fooling enemy radar into showing false aircraft pings. Impressive stuff, and if this is the type of drone and robotic tech the UK Armed Forces are willing to show us, you have to wonder about those secret projects and capabilities. Over the coming weeks, Geeksvana will be delving deeper into this subject and looking at how militaries from around the world are developing unmanned systems to enhance their capabilities. To get these updates first, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Please remember to like and subscribe. What? Well, you're hanging around. I thought I'd hang around with you. What are we waiting for?